Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and Twitter is one of the saddest places on the internet that I've ever went to. But you're like, oh no, Muda, of course. That's basically like saying, you know, water is wet or something, right? Something obviously default. Now to understand, I was on Twitter and I saw the IGN best video games of all time, where they're putting up God of War against GTA V. What a combination, boys. Let's figure out the best video game of all time. This is a blind bracket where apparently Chrono Trigger lost to Burnout 3. Look, maybe I'm just huffing too much of the copium. I'm still a little tilted. That Apex Legends won next to Super Metroid. I'm still mad that Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater lost to Last of Us. But I shouldn't be mad all the time, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to make myself laugh a little bit by going to my favorite side of Twitter, Rich People Twitter. In fact, Rich People social media and I'm not talking about the average rich person like Mark Zuckerberg who can who's rich enough to basically walk around without a care in the world of what people think about him dude dresses up like the rest of us but we all know that boy can rent out our butt cheeks for an hour and a half every day if he wanted to that's all I know now I'm talking about the people that are willing to be stupid with their money and spend in the dumbest ways possible and dumbest in the sense that we can all collectively laugh at some really dumb purchases now, in the last couple days, the internet collectively ratioed, me included, an individual who ended up like trying to poor shame the average individual into not purchasing a pointless $600 steak. Yeah, clean your ears out, $600 is what some steaks can cost you. Here's, here's the tweet real quick. Woo, they really gone be mad when they realize I went back and got an even bigger steak, the $600 one, lol. <laughs> Money well spent, bro. We doing a line of copium today, boys, all around. God damn. Some most MFs will never experience because they can't afford to. You know, when I read this, I kind of laughed my ass off because at the end of the day, no matter how rich I get, I'm still comfortable not spending $600 on steak. When, you, when I go out and spend $600 on food, it's when I'm out with the boys and we're getting steaks, okay? Steaks with the good old beers, okay? We're having a good old night out. You know, I think when you spend this kind of money, it should always be when you have really good companies because you're just, you're just building memories together. However, when you burn the money on really dumb purchases, that's... The God. let's look at it dude so here's the one steak all right so don't mind the individual here cooking the steak they're kind of treating it like a dark souls boss you know just hacking away at this cut of meat now it's a tomahawk steak tomahawk steaks aren't that expensive okay if you go to a butcher you can get one you know for like what like 30 40 40 bucks like you know that capacity or something uh, i might be overstating a little bit i'm trying to get the most premium well quality cut of beef okay i'm sure you can get all price ranges now how do you turn a 40 dollar cut into a 400 or 600 dollar cut ladies and gentlemen premium steakhouses have uncovered the secret formula by going to amazon and purchasing 11 dollars worth 12 sheets 10 sheets of real edible gold leaf yes this is actual gold and the only reason it's that cheap is they pound this stuff out to a razor thin variety we're talking it's so thin that i think it's almost atomic level okay this is what we're looking at now do, do, do you think this adds flavor to the food no it does not add any flavor to the food food gold does not have flavor don't take my word for it take a basic chemistry class gold has no flavor so when you go to the internet and you go to like fancy places that like gold wrap food I've, I've seen them there's plenty of them around Toronto where they like gold wrap wings steaks sushi whatever you want to call it and people suddenly pay hundreds of dollars because they think it's a very luxury item and it's an experience that's a one-of-a-lifetime thing Ladies and gentlemen, the steak you paid for, that's the one of a lifetime thing. Not the gold wrapping around it. You got fleeced, Doc. You got fleeced. Now, of course, to understand, this steak itself is quite raw. Like, I, honestly, I'm a medium rare kind of guy. But that's pink as hell. That cow is still breathing. No, that's not a cow that's been cloned. That's not the best Wagyu Kobe beef. That's literally a standard cut that got wrapped in gold. Now, of course, getting ratioed this hard comes with consequences. I muted this. No one ever mutes it, okay? No, that's a, that's a lie. But it's crazy how a black girl, again, bringing race into the entire thing. Honestly, this whole thing brought the internet together. For a while, nobody hated one another. We all just laughed at a dumb purchase. And it is just a dumb purchase. This isn't a bad person, okay? Regardless of the poor shaming, they're just somebody that 
has money, all right, and they're just not, they, they don't appear to be too smart with their money, okay? I'll be honest with you, invest your money, put it into a store of value, but burning it on $600 steak that's wrapped in gold? Sure, bro, live for the experience. Eating luxury dinner with her fiance got the people so mad. <laughs> yeah, boy, laughing is mad. <laughs> I don't care about the cereal or noodles y'all ate today. Why y'all so bothered? For people who got offended by that statement, go to Amazon and buy the gold leaf, and now you can wrap your instant noodle in gold, dude. You can get that premium experience, dude. Lol, stop speaking on shit y'all haven't experienced. You heard it, boys. You heard it. <laughs> Ain't nothing luxury about this. They painted and overcharged you, and you tried to throw in the line. <laughs> I'll live without the experience. Now, there's some other choice tweets I wanted to read. One that made me laugh real hard. My housekeeper used to clean herself, which was perfect. She was the best. Then she hired some Mexican ladies to work for her. Them bitches was amazing. But this last time, she sent somebody new, and I'm highly disappointed. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't know. That took me through a fever dream. Get out of here. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, all right, this took me down a rabbit hole. So this is the memes, the Salt Bay meme. I didn't know who this guy was until literally like an hour ago. So I always used to look at this from the speedrunner community. I used to watch a lot of speedrunners get really angry at all of their runs. Like we're talking throw the controller across the room and cry yourself to sleep anger. And like everyone that I watch, Glad Jonas, whatever, they just stuck this meme in between, you know, the sprinkling of the salt. Now, to understand, okay, how much do you think Salt Bay, who is a celebrity chef, by the way, an absolute master, an idol I now look up to because he has discovered the way to fleece, like, rich people out of their money with almost no effort. So to understand, these are some receipts I'm about to show you from one of his restaurants that he opened in, like, London. He has, like, restaurants all over the world. Dubai, London, you know, Abu Dhabi, maybe in Toronto, I don't know. But here you've got, here you've got the Nusrat Steakhouse. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that's not a new iPhone purchase. That's one night of eating out here. A thousand, 1,800 pound sterling, buckers. Now, of course, if you look at some of these prices, they're fucking diabolical. You're looking at a, you're looking at around $630 for a giant tomahawk. Uh, unless, uh, unless a ninja jumped down from the goddamn rafters, unless Raiden jumped down from the rafters with a goddamn katana and sliced my giant tomahawk steak, I ain't paying $630. You bet that shit was wrapped in gold. It, it really, I guess, is an experience, okay? I'm sure the food is good for 600 bucks. It better be the best steak I have ever had. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this steak better give me an extra 25 years on my goddamn lifespan for that price tag. Now, you've also got extra things like, for instance, the uh, the Golden Burger, which I would assume is wrapped in fucking gold. <laughs> it's a hundred bucks. Uh, very egregious. I don't know how sweet corn can be 12, 12 pounds. Sorry, uh, not dollars, pounds. This is actually more in dollars. But then what's really wild is look at the four Red Bulls. 44 pounds for four fucking Red Bulls, dude. Four Red Bulls. Bro, that's 11 pounds. You go to the gas station, you can buy a goddamn, you can buy like 12 of those. Get out of here. Somehow, two Coca-Colas, $18, $9 each for a Coca-Cola. Bro, I actually love Salt Bay. This is the one dude that can get away with fleecing people and still charge 15% service. What is wrong with you, dude? I like watching this comment. Normal steak over gold steak. I think it's more equal, bro. Gold is not the flavor. Seriously, gold adds nothing but fanciness. To be honest with you, I think this is just like a way to, uh, this is just a flex. Look, th this is not like a poor person's variety of what rich people eat like. This is just like somebody who fell with a lot of money. And there's a lot of people out there. They make a lot of money and because they don't understand you know, how to invest or do with that. Some people are just goddamn dumb with money. And for them, a lot of it comes down to solving a bruised ego in some capacity. I have never found somebody, <laughs> I've never found somebody more pathetic than a rich person that has 
has to flex on the people under them financially. That, my friends, might be some of the saddest, most pathetic shit I have ever seen. And that's exactly what these stakes cater to. People who think this is luxury, when in reality, they could have just spent their money in better places. And I'm not, listen, you can spend your money however you want to. I'm not going to judge you. All I'm going to do is laugh at you because I think it's funny. Of course, if you get down over here, how do you know? You've never tried a gold steak. They literally put gold on it. All it does is bump up the price. Nothing more. Poor people logic. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Fucking poor people can't figure out why this steak costs that much. Idiots. You know, it's better if they wrap it in gold and order that shit well done. Then I'll cry. Here's another bill that I saw over here on Twitter, too. From from the same establishment, Nusrit Steakhouse in London, okay? People in London are getting fleeced. 1,700 pounds sterling! Why do you think they got diddled that hard with their price tag? Well, they decided to buy eight Sauvignon Blanc Conte, which I'm sure that's probably expensive. But what is real wild is the Nusrit special. I think what's special is the overdraft fees he's going to give you on your bank account the morning after three golden burgers for 300 pounds that better be the best burger i have ever goddamn eaten in my life i'm just saying you know it takes me to like futurama there was an episode where zoidberg and everyone got like 300 bucks and zoidberg decided like because zoidberg is poor in the show right like in futurama zoidberg doesn't have money so he decided to go out and just buy like fancy shit and he never felt fulfilled until he realized that one day or, or sorry the end of the episode he's just gonna buy like all the homeless people and everyone around him like just turkey dogs and shit and it's the memories that they made along the way now i'm not trying to give you a hallmark ending like this i'm just gonna end it at the fact that this is a dumb steak purchase ladies and gentlemen beyond that i found out that most of these like luxury brands way early on in life they were just there to basically fleece dumb people out of their money there's a lot of people that are willing to spend exorbitant amounts of cash on things that frankly aren't worth the spec Calculated prices. There's no reason you should go out and pay 600 bucks for a steak when you can buy better Kobe Wagyu beef online shipped to you straight from Japan. They will literally slaughter a fucking cow in Japan and ship the meat to you overnight for that price and you'll get a better steak experience. Let me tell you, spend your money wisely, not stupidly. And if you're buying crappy designer clothing that goes out of style after three months for an exorbitant price too, well... There's a saying, a fool parts with their money, and you, my friend, if you choose to partake that life path, that that saying may very well apply to you. That said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to play some Lost Judgment, because that game is fun. That being said, this is me, Mudahar, and I'm in a good mood. I am.